Daily, millions of children have their rights violated. They experience violence and abuse, are denied access to education, healthcare or social benefits, and are separated from their families. These violations are often carried out with impunity, and few children can access justice to put right the wrongs in their lives. Everywhere, groups of children are being left behind, victims of prejudice and discrimination. All children face barriers in accessing justice, but children with mental disabilities face even bigger ones. UNICEF, the Mental Disability Advocacy Center, and others are working together to drive change. Access to justice for all children is far-reaching in many aspects of their lives. It can challenge decisions to separate children from their parents. It can restore social benefits that support vulnerable families in caring for their children and undo discriminatory decisions such as exclusion from school. It can put an end to abuse and order reparation. In Bulgaria, a small group of human rights lawyers and activists work directly with the most vulnerable children and their families to help them claim their rights. But the system has not yet changed enough to ensure this, a common challenge in Europe and around the world. I'm a consultant in the Mental Disability Advocacy Center in Bulgaria, which means that I lead work related to access to the rights of people with mental problems и лобирам за промяна в системата, която засяга техните права. Инеса е на пътя да визита една от ее клиенти, една 14-годишна дъщеря с аутизъм. Един ден, тя мъдра я взяла от школа и нашла, че тя бъде изпълнена. Тя бъде сърсно сърсно, че тя бъде сексуално обезпечена. Как да ви кажа? Всеки баща иска да да предпази децата си. А към днешна дата никой не взе отношение нито една от институциите, които информирахме, никой не отреагира. Когато е констатирано, че тя е преживяла това насилие, справедливостта изисква тя да получи незабавен достъп до грижи, които да й помогнат по най-бързия начин да преодолява това, което е преживяла. Вместо това тя е получила отричане, получила е недоверие, получила е едно мълчание, така да се каже. While there are cases where families or organizations approach the justice system on behalf of children, there is also a need for children to be able to make complaints themselves and to be taken seriously. Justice system is created for adults and it reflects the attitude of the society that children are not really human being, beings with rights and that needs to change. In Bulgaria, if a child wants to go to a court, it's almost impossible. Uh, because according to our um, procedural laws, only adults can uh, uh, file a claim to the court or start some uh, case. Venceslava is 14 years old and has an intellectual disability. At the age of one, the only option given to her mother was to place her in an institution. No support to keep her home was provided to the family at the time. So Venceslava... Какво да ви кажа? Тя обича, радва се на лакомства, като я посещавах поне, така беше. Сега не знам, доста време, две-три години повече, ако не съм я виждала. Почина на Венцислава иллюстрира начина по който правата на децата се нарушават. Фактът, че тя вместо да бъде отглеждена от семейството и вместо семейството да получи цялата необходима подкрепа, за да се справи с предизвикателството, което има пред себе си, с нуждата да се грижи за това дете, вместо това тя е била поставена в институция. 
Children with disabilities may require extra support when accessing justice. International law says they must be given this. We have had a few occasions when children had to uh, be present in the court themselves and they were somehow dismissive of them and their needs and their um, ability to express. So I think that the, the legal system in Bulgaria specifically, they have to know more about children with uh, profound mental disabilities um, and how these children can be supported to access all their rights. Maya. 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 Making these changes can be difficult, but they are possible. In a landmark decision from 2008, one of Ineta's cases set a precedent for children with disabilities and their right to access education. Upon reaching 16, Deutschen was denied further education because of his disability. MDAC and Aneta lodged a complaint to challenge this. Deutschen and his family won, and the court said that he had the right to further his education. However, it took more than three years to reach a final decision, meaning that Deutschen lost valuable time in his education. His case helped many other young people with disabilities, but it was too late for him. First of all, families and children need to be better informed about their rights and where to go and who to ask for help when their rights are violated. And when their rights are violated, uh, and when they decide to seek help uh, and redress by the court, they need to be supported. And this support should come from community members, from lawyers, from social workers or NGOs, but they should not be alone in this process.